As basketball sectionals continue tomorrow night, the Cowan Blackhawks are defending their title while playing the season with heavy hearts. Brad Brown shows us how they've stepped up to honor their former coach in tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. Sometimes just getting on the court is a win unto itself. We've tried to keep things as normal as is humanly possible in the situation that we were in. For the Cowan boys basketball team, every day of the past four months has been a tribute and a triumph. Our kids are great. Uh, we have remembered coach and uh, if you know Coach Ingles very well, he wouldn't want you to sit and stew. He'd want you to move on. And uh, especially in the game of basketball, where he was a fierce competitor. Last October, Cowan head coach Lee Ingles lost his life in a car accident on Interstate 69. Seven years leading the program. Last March, winning the school's first sectional title in 44 years. An outpouring of support from the entire community and well beyond. On the brink of this new season, the Blackhawks found the strength to continue. It was rough. There was definitely times when I could like see that people were disinterested and it was, it was hard to kind of find motivation to want to come in here and just practice every day. Because when you're used to seeing a guy for like three hours a day and having him in class and it, it's just ripped away from you, it, it's, it's hard to, I, I want to say, adapt and get used to like this being the normal when you're used to seeing him every day. Aaron Groves was moved into the role of head coach. Keep moving, keep moving, game speed, game speed. Trying to find his own way while moving forward with what Coach Ingles had built before him. I've just tried to keep it as normal and yet at the same time uh, be, be Coach Groves because I, I, I don't want to try and be Coach Ingles. Our philosophy, basketball philosophy has not changed. Our, our family uh, theme that we break huddle with every night, every uh, time is not changed. Uh, so we're just trying to keep it as normal as possible. Cowan has eight seniors that have largely grown up together, playing through junior high and high school, and now carrying on the traditions built by Coach Ingles. Every one of us has played ever since we were a kid. We've all played together. We started in like third, fourth grade. It was a Y League. And I mean, it's just been great growing up with these guys. I mean, we all love each other. We're all like a family. We all hang out on our own time. I mean, it's just great. The bond we have, it's amazing. So just being able to go through it with the same guys that you've been with, throughout all of your years of basketball. It just, I feel like it made it easier and it made it worth more to just go through it with them. Cowan's All for Ingles campaign salutes the coach's spirit. The camaraderie in the huddle and on the court is palpable. The legacy of a champion sure to carry on for years to come. He would always like try and make it clear that if you try your best, like you can probably, as long as you all focus up together and focus up for a game, if you try hard enough, you can probably get where you want to go. And that's like the most important thing. I mean, we all knew it was just love, it was a game, but you had to compete. You know, it's not going to come easy. You got to give your best every day, every practice, every game, if you, especially if you want to win. In Delaware County, Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.